So I want to carry forth this question. What is wisdom? What is wisdom? In some of our emissary cultural context, it's been defined by both Yoranda and Martin as the fitness of things, how well things fit together. Perhaps you've experienced bringing something into a situation that did not fit. And that was considered unwise. And then when it does fit, it's wise. <laughs> how lovely. <laughs> Ups and downs of our applications. However, in the seven steps to the temple of the light that we've been exploring lately, wisdom is defined in the first sentence of that chapter as the act of knowing of the one who knows. And that's the active, not the act of. So it's saying that there's one inside, a wonderful one within, that already knows. Just already knows all things. For us to know things, we have to learn. And we go through most of our human life through this process of learning and growing and trying to attain this state of wisdom. Because when I looked into the matter a little bit of wisdom and how it's defined, through a lot of social and cultural context, it brings up this question of wisdom versus intellect and can kind of pit the two against each other. As if intellect is simply this conscious mind process of gathering information. So it's all about knowledge and what we know, the information, what we have discerned as facts. Of course, we have to discern facts because in our information age, that we're living in, uh, the first thing we have to do is decide if a fact that's presented to us is actually true and whether or not we want to operate out of that. And that's a whole sense of wisdom in itself. But it's also the application of the information and the knowledge. It's having an understanding of this information, this knowledge, and then applying it through action, discerning and choice making and decisions. This is all part of our kind of collective human understanding of wisdom. However, we, have, we live in a world that's based off of social and cultural contexts, context that is built out of separation. And all separation stems from one singular thought that we are separate from God. So it's no wonder that our society and culture has put the entire job of wisdom onto the responsibility of the conscious mind to gather information, figure it out, make decisions, apply it properly. But to the, as in the seven steps, wisdom is the act of knowing of the one who knows. It is the one in self, the spiritual self, not the conscious mind that holds the wisdom. The conscious mind can tap into the wisdom of the inner presence. That space which already knows all information available. The spirit within doesn't need to learn. It lives in an absolute realm, already knows. We have limited perspective with which to see. And of course, the more perspectives you can see from, the more wise you'll be in your decision making, but still it's limited. And the source within sees already from all perspectives, knows all things. We have this little distinction in our human understanding between information knowledge and like wisdom and the application. I found a fun little quote. <laughs> knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing that it doesn't go in a fruit salad. <laughs> it's kind of this idea we have of wisdom, like how well do you figure things out and then like apply them into your life? But to the deeper 
reality of it. Our job really is to turn within to the one that knows. Already has all knowing. And trust that source as our guidance. Let it guide us. Let it direct us. Let it move through us. And from that place, something amazing happens. Because it's coming from the mind of God. As the God force works through the mental realm, wisdom is available. <laughs>